What's up, nerds? How is it going? It's Chris here from Packing Nerds, and we're back again with another video. Uh, and this video is going to be Season 3 Marvel Jewel. We're going to take a look at the Season Pass. We're going to buy it. We're going to take you through everything that you can unlock this month with the Season 3 uh, Season Pass. Let's go. So, right, we need to go and check out what we've got. So, haven't done anything. Um, I've just done my daily login. That's what that is. But... Um, let's go check out the rewards. So, uh, the, the the standard without the season pass is pretty basic. It's, it's the normal season pass you're going to get. Um, you've got those materials, you've got packs, you've got gold. Um, oh, you have got a new card, um, actually, so that's good. Uh, James Rhodes, Invocation. At the end of the turn, give two power to a random character on your battlefield and a random character on your teammate's battlefield trigger times where n equals times you have played this card in the game so we can play up to four so they're going to aim this season at the team up mode a brand new mode uh that's in the game at the minute where you work with a friend and it's basically three teams of two so i think a lot of these cards are going to be aimed at that but you gain two of those uh at level 10 which is quite cool you're going to get some more packs um invincible badge okay cool that's good so you can earn a basically immunity uh from from losing which is nice some more packs uh level 30 is iron patriot assemble a random four cost card okay at the end of the turn give a copy of that card to your teammate that's a nice card assemble a random four cost card at the end of your turn give a copy of that card to your teammate nice yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, so you don't get f like free pick. You get a choice of three. So, I mean, if you and your teammate are both working the same sort of deck, that's going to be pretty handy. I imagine that's going to be obviously Iron Man. Yeah, so it's Stark. Belongs to Iron Man. So you both kind of need to be rocking Iron Man in that, which is fine. Iron Man needs to get more use. Some more packs, some more materials. What are the cards have we got here? Uh, Convergence Bean, again, belongs to Iron Man. Bit of a theme going on. At the start of the next battle, deal N pierce damage to the leftmost opponent, where N equals to 10, plus the number of convergence beams that have been played in the game, times 10. Okay, so say, for example, it's 2. Um, N equals 2. Uh, two N equals 10, plus the number of convergence that has been played. So we said we played 2 of them. That's 2 plus 10 times 10 is 120 maths i don't know but it looks it can probably play well we'll have to test it out and see um at the start of the next battle deal that damage to the leftmost opponent where n equals to 10 plus the number of points that we've played in this game 10 to 10 times 100 i don't get it that's bad wording but uh, yeah, that looks fine. And then we get some more packs, more materials, and then a nice cool Star Lord emote. So that's the basic, that's the free stuff. You don't have to buy the season pass for that. That's just what you get for free. Um, and then in the season pass stuff, we have uh, this cool Iron Man emote. Um, what's this? No, well, I don't want to. Oh, is it making me like go through it this way? Yeah, what's that? Rename chip. Okay, fine. Whatever. Materials, uh, some Gwenpool thing. We get some stylus, which we need. Some of that. Packs. Okay, Tony Stark. Let's have a look at what Tony Stark is. How they give you Tony Stark. Maybe I should just buy it so that doesn't come up. Um, assemble an equipment card and give it to all other players. Uh, you gain battle gems equal to double the cost of that card so this is an interesting one because you're giving it to your opponent as well so uh, i'm not sure which equipment is going to benefit you and not benefit them although i don't do suppose you might gain the max you're gaining is 12 gems from that so yeah i'm, un I'm un unsure about how good that card is going to be but we'll see more packs uh, another invincibility um gem wow it's not too much to be honest obviously we get materials and they're valuable but i thought we'd get more like cards back to back what's back to back assemble a star level one copy of a character 
from all friendly players' battlefields at the end of the turn, give a star level one copy of that card to your teammate. Assemble a star level one copy of a character from all friendly players' battlefield at the end of the turn. Give a star level one copy of that card to your teammate. Okay, you basically rob um, you rob a card off your friend's battlefield. You can then give them another copy. Okay, that could be quite handy, and that could be quite good um, in sort of... I mean, it's proper tactics now. That's quite good, because that's real-time tactics, and then we get a really cool card back. So we're going to buy it. Uh, we've got the gems, as you've seen. So now we have it. We have the season pass. Good. So, I mean, let us know what you think. Um, there's a question of the day is, where are you watching us from? What country are you from? Is it the Philippines? Is it Thailand? Is it America? Is it the UK? Put it down in the comments. Where are you watching us from? And what do you think of the season pass rewards? Do you think the season pass is worth it? I'm not sure. I don't know. But what's your opinion? What do you guys think? Yes, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.